Hi, this is Beth with All Array of Light. It is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. And I'm here to do a reading on the protests that have been taking place over the past couple of days. We've got a series of protests in places where people very loudly are wanting <laughs> everything to open back up. Um, I feel their rights are being trampled. And my question is, are these protests le legitimately grassroots protests are they being kind of paid for? I read that some of the protests in Michigan were linked to an, oops, I'm dropping things, linked, linked to a, um, organization associated with Betsy DeVos. And I just want some information about the protests, and then I want to know it's going to be the outcome of the protest. Um, and I know there's going, I guess, and finally I'll probably ask, um, several places, several states are going to open back up. <laughs> I'm in one of those states, Texas, and I want to know what the outcome of that's going to be. I know Georgia's going to open back up. And I believe South Carolina, Tennessee, I think is the other one. Let me start off with the protests. Let's see what they want me to do. I read as a medium. Probably have to say this every time, but I read as a medium. Um, I don't have a great setup. I, hopefully that's going to change soon. I uh, just ordered some things. I was looking on Amazon to see when it was coming in to make the cards a little more so that you can see that I'm pulling the cards and I'm not pulling them, at, you know, I'm not just pulling the cards I want. <laughs> so I'm going to just pull a couple right here and I will talk about what I am pulling as soon as I get them. Oops, let me move this a little bit further back. All right, are these legitimate? All right, so I got seven of swords. <laughs> so um, what the guides are telling me is People are afraid. Um, there is some money behind some of these protests. There is some money behind some of these protests. But there are people there who are legitimately afraid of what's going on. Um, worried about their families. Worried about what is going to happen. Not taking the virus seriously um i'm hearing some people are, are believing that it's not a big deal because it hasn't personally affected them they're feeling burdened by the shutdown I, look one person one person's not being able to go shopping maybe that's a burden to them <laughs> i personally like doing the curbside um they're feeling burdened by the virus and all of it. But instead of kind of looking, and they're feeling burdened by what the, their particular states have done by shutting things down. They're worried, they're definitely worried. Hold on a second. But I'm being told that they're not, yeah, they're feeling, yeah, they're feeling tied up. <laughs> I'm tied up, I can't do what I want. Spirit is kind of telling me in a way that's a not necessarily the most mature response to something. Like, it, it's almost as if some, so I'm just telling you what I'm getting. It's almost as if some people are responding like like a child would. Ah, you can't tell me what to do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rebel. I get like a, a, ser a little bit of rebellion going on there. There's money behind it too, though. But I'm seeing money not only behind some of the protests, but people are worried about their money. People are worried about their family. But there's a level, like I'm seeing it like, they're, Spirit's showing me there's like a, a layer of denial going on, though. There's a layer of denial that it's as serious as it is if you haven't been personally affected. Some of these people, I think, came from more rural, 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 I can never say that word, rural communities where they weren't seeing as much effect. 
and they were feeling like it was unfair that they were having to live under the same uh, type of policies that people maybe cities were they, they're not seeing it being affect they're not seeing their communities being affected so why are we having to do this but it's going to backfire on them ouch um, I, I'm pulling the the ace of Pentacles here but I said I read this as a medium what I'm actually seeing this card unfortunately is I'm seeing the the virus multiplying like I'm I'm getting the like virusy multiplying going on here it's going to backfire is what I'm hearing it's going to backfire and in fact you're probably going to begin to see stories of some of the people who went to those protests coming who are getting sick from being at the protest and not not socially distancing hold on there's I'm, I'm seeing it like fires breaking out like there's going to be some hot spots that that happens okay now I'm being reminded by my guides of readings they have given me in the past month um, where I was being distinctly told that there was a we needed to be still we needed to pause we needed to just shut everything down for a couple of months several months and they're they're reminding me of that they're reminding me of that with the hair hierophant read this as a medium um, that they're saying we gave you that information some are listening some aren't it's going to to I'm feeling fires breaking out I'm feeling like some fires breaking out like hot spots are going to develop where there might not have been some before okay hold on I've got the Sun here yeah so I'm feeling it like yeah I've got like hot spots breaking out I I I personally feel like this is going to backfire and it's almost as if the time that we spent shutting down it's almost like lost time like oh you gotta start over so I don't know I don't think it's gonna happen every place but I do feel some real strong outbreaks popping back up I'm seeing it like I keep seeing far forest fires I'm getting fire imagery and honestly I've been getting fire imagery about the virus from the beginning so that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing fire, fire breaking out, fire, uh, scorching. I'm, I'm seeing like scorching. Uh, and people are going to regret that they didn't listen um, to experts maybe. And that they listened to some people they probably shouldn't have listened to. That it was okay to do this. I'm also hearing... This is a minority of people not wanting to shut down. The majority wants to stay shut down. It really is a minority of people. It might be 30%, even 40%, I don't know, who want to just open back up. But there's a distinctive majority that wants to still stay shut down for a while. Hold on a second. Um, so, yeah, there's some... I'm hearing coordination with... The White House with some of these groups protesting. I just got to tell you what I'm getting. And there's money behind it. Moneyed interests behind wanting to open it back up no matter how many people die. There's going to be regret. I'm getting regret for opening it back up. Not everywhere, but in certain places. <sighs> Hold on a second. Let me see what I... Ugh. Of swords, there's going to be heartache. There's going to be some heartache, um, sadness, sadness, and heartache. Um, that they didn't listen, that they didn't heed it. And I'm telling you, there's going to be some outbreaks from some of those protests. Oh my goodness, let's see what else. Um, so I got the two of cups there. Let me see what that means. Partnerships, so yeah, I'm getting, um coordination for some of these there are elements of people who are grassroots but there's also pieces of this that are coordinated national maybe even international support for this I don't know by international if I mean something like Russia or if they mean something like 
moneyed interests, right? Um, let me see what else I'm getting here. It's about money, it's about people being afraid, it's about people needing to make money. Now, some of that is just work, everyday worker people, and some of that are large corporations and the wealthy people who want to keep being wealthy. So it's really coming down to money, coming down to the economy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if this answered my questions or not, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I hope everybody's doing okay. Please stay safe. Blessings.